How does the toothpaste get into the tube? The year was 1870. New London, Connecticut, United States, 7 a.m. Kids were getting out of their beds. The mothers were handing them twigs with a frayed end called toothsticks. The kids dipped their toothsticks in a jar of toothpaste to clean their teeth. Toothpaste tubes were not invented at that time. So, toothpaste was stored in jars. And all kids started their day by dipping their toothsticks into a toothpaste jar. And like the kids, every family member dipped their toothstick into the same jar including that visiting grand aunt with yellow and black teeth whose tooth stick matched her teeth. One morning, a disgusted cry went up in a dentist's house. Ew! It was Dr. Sheffield's son, Lucius, who refused to dip his toothstick into the jar. He decided to use tooth powder instead of the toothpaste. But he kept thinking about finding a better way to store and use toothpaste. A few years later, Lucius went to Paris to study the science of dentistry. There, he saw artists squeezing out paint from metal tubes. He thought, why can't the same type of tube be used to hold toothpaste? He shared this idea with his father. Lucius's father thought that it was an awesome idea. There was just one problem. How to fill the toothpaste into the tubes? Now, can you guess what Lucius and his father used to fill toothpaste into a tube? An earbud? A really tiny spoon? Or a toothpick? No, it was not as messy as you would expect. Because Dr. Sheffield and his team did it without opening the cap. That's right. They kept the cap screwed on tight and opened up the other end. It's definitely easier to fill a tube from the larger end. After that, all you have to do is seal the end tight so that the paste does not leak. Today, toothpaste tubes are filled using machines. Empty tubes are lined up on a conveyor belt with their caps downwards and the unsealed end pointing up. A big container filled with toothpaste is fixed above the belt. This container has a nozzle at one end. As the tubes move along the conveyor belt, the container pushes toothpaste through the nozzle into each tube. The paste is not filled to the brim. About half an inch is left so that it can be crimped. And that's how we get toothpaste tubes that are easy to squeeze and use. Veena Prasad Abridged